Oh, I, the, the Rishi or the Swami says, I have given up Danda. I have given up my Kamandalu. I have given up a decent piece of cloth. So what? I have given up my wife and children. Good. One intelligent act you did. <laughs> I have given up my house and property. My wealth I have given out to, to my children. <laughs> Not for social work. By throwing away the things around you and about you, that is not moksha. What about your mental? Ah, you even now remember, it was uh, 80,493 rupees. Uh, I gave to the eldest son. Oh. And then the second son I gave about 60,000. <laughs> Kalyani. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Now, yeah, yeah. 68,943. He numbers this inside. So, meditation, sitting down. Hariyo, Hariyo, Eka Brahman, 48,000. 68,000. <laughs> <laughs> by, by doing that, you are not gone. So, Kamandalu and uh, Danda, you have thrown away. There's in me anything. Even your body, you commit suicide, nothing happens. Avidya hridaya grandhi. Avidya kama karma. These are the bonds of the heart. Heart means the inner personality. Your ego is always bound by, limited by, shackled by, chained by three factors in you. They are with the other non apprehension of the higher reality. Therefore, desires. I don't know that I am Satchidananda. Therefore, various desires. My intellect suggests that I will be happier if I have got these, these, these desires. When the desires come, agitation. To quieten the agitation, physical body acts and sweats and toils to fulfill the desires. So the avidya, kama, karma, these are the three shackles under which everyone is groaning. Until these three are gone, there is no moksha. And all the three will end when avidya ends. The non apprehension of reality, when it ends, there is no more any desire because the infinite Paripurna Chidananda Swarupa. You come to experience that I am the Chidananda. Blissful state, conscious bliss, infinite in, uh, in satisfaction. Once you realize that, no more desires, no more desires. Desire prompted activities will not spring from you. This Avidya Granthi, these knots of the heart, these limitations in your own personality, that is moksha from that is called a moksha, not from the body or from the, uh, from the, the kamandalu, etc. Ah, moksha, avidya hriya grandi moksha, moksha yatastataha. Therefore, just as the body, all the possessions in the outer world, if you throw away, you are not free. You don't become free. You will be free only when the knowledge, the direct experience of the highest state of consciousness comes. <laughs> in that total and absolute satisfaction, there is no more desire bubbles rising in. Therefore, no agitations to project a world of plurality, nor sweating and toiling at the physical level to acquire, possess, embrace the objects. Uh. 